Y'all are about to see more of me than you would like to. Let's get close and personal, honey. Let go. Struck down in the middle of it, I built up something to destroy. Hi guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. Today we're going to be talking about shapewear. If you're new here, hi, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe. I am Yemu and my goal is to end up uploading a video every single day. For now, we're just focusing on consistency. Okay. I believe it was April 2019 when I posted my first Shaperman shapewear review. That was my first ever shapewear purchase. Even after delivering my kids, I just never wore, you know, anything. Not the case. After being satisfied with these products, a few months down the line, I bought some more things from Shapermint. Today, I'm going to be trying them out for you and talking to you in depth and detail and giving you my full review after months and months and months of wearing these items of clothing. And uh, we're just gonna talk about durability, the quality, the fit, and everything that I have come to know when it comes to shapewear from experience. Like I said, I bought some in April last year and I bought some more in September last year and now here we are, I'm telling you all about it. If you want to refer to my first ever initial review, I will be linking it down below or up in the iCards and you can click it and watch exactly how I felt about them. First of all, let's talk about buying shapewear. A lot of people when they buy shapewear, they make the mistake of buying a size down. Buying a size down doesn't help you. I know you want things to cinch you in, but this is how you come to the problems of things rolling up and rolling down. When shapewear is manufactured and made, they're already taking into consideration your size and what their measurements are. Please, please, if you buy clothes online, pay attention to the size guide. Pay attention to what they're saying, measure yourself and buy by what they say. Now, some companies out there will end, you know, it might be hit or miss. If you buy something that's too small, especially I've uh, found with uh, some people who buy shapewear that is high waisted, it rolls down. And um, sometimes with your thighs, like those shorts type of shapewear, um, the tights, size shapewear it starts rolling up and people have issues with that did you buy your size if you did buy your size and it's a situation where you know the you know it's just not good quality it's just bad quality you know it's not a good product for you but just speaking from experience what i've learned with shapewear mind you shaper mint is the only shapewear i've worn so i don't know about other shapewear brands we're talking about shaper mint because that's what I've worn. Um, it By the right size, it won't roll down. I buy a lot of high-waisted things. Like many women, I have issues with my belly situation. I'm working on it, aren't we all? And it's even harder right now with staying inside. We're eating a lot of food. Um, and it's not necessarily even junk food, just food. Just eat it, eat it all. The last thing you want is, you know, a muffin, muffin top. I mean, maybe you do, but I don't. I don't want a muffin top. So anyway, I bought these two. Let me just say, I have gained a little weight since then. <laughs> I'm no longer an XL. After months of wearing it, how has it gone? When I bought it, it was great, right? It was cinching me in in all the right places. I didn't have much of a problem with rolling down, except for with the boy, with the boy shorts, they did roll down a bit. And I did realize that I did not take into consideration their measurements. I should have actually gone a size up with those uh, when I bought them. So I wasn't XL in that one. I was the next size because I didn't really look at the measurements. I was just like XL. I had just bought my Fashion Over jeans and I was size 15. I was a size 15 in Fashion Over jeans. So when I bought these, I was just like, now I know my size, I'm an XL. And it worked well with the midi, um, the long legged one, but with, and that one didn't roll down at all. However, with the boy shorts one, they were rolling down a little bit at the back. Now, I'm still being cinched in. My stomach is still being cinched in. My rolls are being flattened and smoothed, right? I'm still going in. Everything is looking good. My crotch is still aligned with my chocha. Uh, however, because I'm bigger, we're getting a little roll down. It also has to, it also plays a part with the fact that I'm kind of short. I have a shorter torso and a shorter body. So things that are high waisted sometimes end up like literally 
in my boob and so there's not nowhere else it can go but at the front i know it's not an issue it's a matter of not having anywhere to go that's why we're like stopping here and bunching up under my boobs however at the back it is rolling down partly because you know at the front it's no longer going up it stopped but also partly because i'm now a size bigger so we are getting a little rolling down I, it's time for me to up my size. I still want to have the proper size shapewear at my current size while I work on getting back down to what I was before and then surpass that, okay? <laughs> it's a struggle, but we're working on it. Okay, the quality. If you look at the band, the rubber, the rubber band, compare it to my previous video when I first initially bought them, there's not much of a difference. Care and maintenance is always sent. They always send you um, advice on how to take care of it and everything. For me, I grew up hand washing. 15 years old was the first time I used a washing machine before that and even after that hand washing everything. So I think that that has helped. If you are to, you know, machine wash and stuff, there are always instructions. But if you don't read instructions or anything, I always go for delicates and cold water. Hot water is going to compromise the elasticity of your fabrics and all of that stuff. So I always just wash in cold water and I think that has helped with the longevity of the fabric because I do wear it quite a bit. Sometimes I wear my shapewear as clothing. Like I said, I don't leave the house. So I'll be in here just wearing my shapewear. I have worn these leggings. I wear them all the time. I'm wearing them right now. Like these, I love these leggings. They are so, so, so comfortable. They are my favorite. Using filters will save you time, okay? And money, because the more you see, the more you buy. Me being an ambassador does not really influence whether or not I feel like Shaper Mint is a good brand to buy from. Me being an ambassador does not influence my love or hate for these um, garments. As long as you take care of the products that you receive and you buy the right size, I believe that, you know, you're good. And customer service is, for me, Speaking from experience, I haven't had an issue. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. I just wanted to announce that I am a Shaper Mint ambassador and also give you guys a rundown as to how the fabric has gone, um, has survived <laughs> along these months. I mean, from April till now, this is a year later, okay? A year of use and this is, um, this is true. This is how I feel you've seen on the screen. If you want to refer uh, to my older video, like I said, it's linked down below or up there. For me, shapewear is meant to enhance your shape. It's not meant to give you a whole new brand new body, honey. I don't think that's what shapewear is. I think it's meant to just smooth you out, enhance, cinch you in a bit where you need cinching in, plump you where you need plumping. You know what I'm saying? Shapewear for me is not meant to boost my confidence, but I would be lying if I said that I don't feel more secure when I wear it. It would be a lie for me to say I don't stand a little taller, walk a little taller, sway a little, a little, you know, that switch is a little enhanced. <laughs> I have moments, you know, I have moments where I feel a little insecure. I'm like, okay, ooh, my thighs are a little too thick right now. I'm seeing a little too many booty dimples. What's happening? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching my video, guys. I will see you guys in my next video, okay? All right. Hold, come on, move out of the way, baby. Mommy needs to finish. No. Say bye. Bye. Just wait. Now go sit over there. Thank you, buddy. I'll be done in a second, okay? Okay. Okay. You gonna go play with big brother? Yeah. Okay. I'll see you in a minute, okay? Yeah. All right. Mama, I wanna play Fortnite. Can I play Fortnite? Can you play Fortnite? How old are you? Can you play Fortnite? Can you play Fortnite? Yeah. How old are you? I wanna play Fortnite. How old are you? I wanna play Fortnite. Are you three years old? Yeah. So do you think you should play Fortnite? Yeah. Well, eh, wrong answer. Come on, mama. Come on, Aiden. You're yeah. in my way, man. Yeah, mama. Come on, Aiden. Mama, mama. <sighs> All right. What do you need? Let's... You can take me high.